part 10 final fantasy gaming check it out enjoy the show enough said by now glad you're here in any case i got a situation see for yourself we have one of your robed men if you want him back it will cost you one million gil agree to the terms and we'll take care of the rest what's this beats the hell out of me guess some fool got it in her head i was making money off my research you gonna pay up look at this place to barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Spoke with some of the neighbors, but they weren't much help. No one saw anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. You know, could be that the perpetrator threw on a hood to blend in. Without anyone to bat so much as an eyelash or one more robe walking around. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, uh, which reminds me. There's a compound in our road friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. Like blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Well, I'll be. We ain't gonna save you. of something different here side quests we'll get straight into the main body of the actual story later on using the ps5 controller to record the vocal system cannot be bothered to pick up my mic and speak but yeah it sounds pretty clear so we're gonna keep it running for now that's that Your sense seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. Oh, hello there. 
Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Aw, oh, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <clears throat> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. You gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. Don't forget as well, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay in tune with everything RK related. I just had to quickly throw that out there. Had to quickly do that, not said. Once we've found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Sheeran asked us to rescue his patient. He didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean... We'll figure it out later. Understood. With me! Right. 
like that, okay? on you. This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. <sighs> The kidnapper could be anywhere, or anyone. The smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? <sighs> okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Harry the Brash! <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. And tried to snake, but you know what it was? I knew them guys would be the culprit. I knew they would. So, all guns on deck, all swords drawn, and uh, claws unsheathed. But you know what it was though? This character that I went up against, the fight against right there, right? Was he called Dark Claw? Ridiculous. A couple hits, if not one, your damage goes all the way down. So, yeah, I kept my distance a lot from this guy. Too dangerous to be up close. Right. <laughs> 
this! <laughs> gonna be able to find that dude without us. Hear that? Give us the money, or we're gonna... What? <sighs> hey! We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. <sighs> what? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! <sighs> Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And see for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> So, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days I'll win you over. Take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy. 
covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Well then, all in favor? was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. Huh? 
have turned those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Cloud, the others are waiting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
challenger for the evening. <laughs> Welcome to our gilded paradise, the Gold Saucer. Dio, Park Director. And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we duel? Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. What it takes, young man. All right. Well. I'm ending this. How can this be? Yeah! Yeah! Done. <laughs> That's quickly done, pal. Well fought, young man. Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause! token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> oh. Cool. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> thanks! Nicely done. Said you were pretty nervous. <laughs> Cloud's used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Aerith. Oh, you've got to tell me that one later. Welcome to Paradise, the Gold Saucer. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. To a vote, then. A teensy little break. All those in favor? Me. Me. <laughs> yeah. Who should be Yay or nay? I, uh. <clears throat> Have your fun. While you still have time. 
pain. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Get some sleep, okay? about a reading to clear those somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just then go shooting the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy. You feel what? Eyes up here. <gasps> okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. <laughs> it's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back up! Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Classy now. 
Tacky and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Eligor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Hmm. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. Oh, light. Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. 
See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Reservation, under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible! Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am! I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress! We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Johnny's seaside fleet trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color.
Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Biggs. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> Sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. <gasps> mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right, just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. I think I always have, ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me, I mean, no pressure. Of course I'm up for it. Goes to show guys that uh, Mr. Barrett really did actually cause the problems. And Tifa is Cloud's match and always will be. Woman looked after him, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much that. So yeah, I'll pair these two up. I heard you can change it, but nah, we'll keep them as a day off for now. Stay in tune to find out what happens next on the next installment. RKA Gameplays.